Did you ever think it's possible to analyze the sentiment of a form submission? Well, on this video, we are going to show you how using the power of AI. On this video, we are going to cover how to analyze the form submission so we can actually know if the sentiment of that message is good, bad, or neutral. And for this, we're gonna automate it to get an alert if the sentiment is bad. That way we can take action right away. So let's get started with this tutorial right away. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to analyze your form submissions to know what the sentiment is. Now, for this, we are going to use three tools. One of them is Job Form. The second one is OpenAI, which is going to be our analyst for the sentiment. And the third one is going to be Pavli Connect, which is the automation system, so we can get those alerts. Now, in terms of the third section, which is Pavli Connect, there's other alternatives if you want to use, for example, Zapier. In this case, we're going to use Public Connect. Okay, so let's get started with this. Let's create our first form, something really simple that we can use to analyze the sentiment analysis. So let's go ahead and create a form. And for this, we are going to use a template and we're going to use something simple like this feedback form. Let's just say that we want someone to uh, give us feedback. And if that feedback is bad, well, we want to get alerted, alerted right away if something is wrong because we can take action right away. So this is the form. I'm not going to edit it. We're going to keep it simple, just like it is. And let's go ahead and just test it out. Open in a new tab. And let's just say suggestion. Um, testing this form. This is going to be useful the first time that we fill it out because we're going to use this for automation. Okay, so now we have a form. Let's go back into our job form panel. And it's going to be this one. Feedback form, okay? Now, the next thing that we're going to need is our AI system. This is OpenAI, and this is what we recommend because it's really good. And what we're gonna do is obviously open an account. Now, to use this system, it's extremely cheap. Let me show you really quickly what the costs are, just so you understand how much it would cost. Let's go into pricing. And they have three AI models, which is Ada, Babash, Curie, and DaVinci. DaVinci being the most powerful and the most advanced one. Now they are saying that it costs 0.02 cents per 1000 tokens. So it's extremely cheap. And they give you an example here. This little paragraph is 35 tokens, which is less than a thousand. That's like 0.008, I think. It's like super extremely cheap. So it's less than, it's 10th of a pennies. Okay, and that's for this kind of message. If it's longer, then it's a little bit more, but it's extremely cheap to use, just so you understand. And once you open up your account, we are going to go into the settings. So let's go into manage account. We're gonna go into billing. We're gonna go into usage limits, and we're gonna set a usage limit just to make sure that you don't go overboard in case the automation goes crazy. But in this case, you can set a hard limit so it stops using it in case something is just like wrong because $20 is a whole lot of money in this, okay? And that's monthly. And there's a soft limit to get an alert. You can lower these or raise them if you like, okay? Now, once we are ready and we create our account, we add our card and we're ready to go, we can create our usage system here in the playground so we understand how it works. And I'm going to show you. For example, we are gonna tell this, which is the AI system, what we want to do with the messages that we receive from JotForm. So for example, we are gonna say, Okay, so we just told the AI system what we actually want. So what do we want from it? What is it, what is it going to do? And in this case, it's gonna analyze the message for us. Now, what is that message? Well, that's gonna grab it from job form, but let's use some examples so you understand how this works. And for this case, I've opened up Google Maps, which I've selected the Centurion launch from Amex, and they got a bunch of good and bad reviews, okay? So let's grab these reviews and test them out. So let's grab this review. Let's go into our playground, let's put the message, and we're going to submit it, okay? And it should let us know it's good, okay? Let's go ahead and clean this up. Let's grab another review, just for testing. This one's uh, three stars. Um, let's grab the whole thing. Let's go into the message, let's go ahead and paste it and submit, and let's see what it does. Neutral, okay? So again, let's get this. Let's grab something that's one star. Okay, this one. So basically this is a bad message. Obviously the sentiment is bad. Let's go ahead and paste it. Let's submit it. And there we go. We grabbed the results. 
So it's working just the way we want it, okay? But if you wanna fine tune this, that is possible, okay? If you could tell it you want more um, behaviors here, that is possible and it will analyze it for you. For this case, we're gonna keep it simple. Okay, so now you understand how this works and how we are going to receive that sentiment analysis. Now, how are we going to automate this so we can receive an alert if it's neutral or bad? Because we wanna take action right away. So for this, like I mentioned before, we are gonna use Pavly Connect. And let's get started here. You can open up a free account and it's great for automating. Let's create the workflow. We're gonna say sentiment analysis. Let's go ahead and create. And this is going to start the workflow. Now, this is going to be the trigger. This is how we're going to get started. And for the trigger, we are going to connect with job form. So let's search for job form. Let's go ahead and select it. Let's select the trigger, which is going to be a new response, which is a new submission. And this is the webhook URL. Let's grab this. Let's go back into our job form section. Let's go into our form that we've created. Let's edit the form. Let's go into the settings, integration, and we are gonna search for webhooks. Let's add our webhook right now, complete the integration. There we go, complete the integration. Okay, it's ready, let's go ahead and finish. Let's go back into Pavly Connect and it's waiting for a response. Now let's go ahead and fill this out one time in job form. Let's go into publish, open in a new tab. Let's go ahead and say a suggestions and this is a test message. Well, let's actually grab one of the reviews from over here. Um, let's grab the one that's negative. Let's actually grab another one that's negative. Let's find one. Okay, here's a negative one. Let's fill it out right here. Let's say in the name, last name, and the email. Let's fill it out. There we go, it's filled out. Let's go into Pally Connect, and it should receive it in a bit. So it's sending that form submission. There we go, we just received it. And from the username, we got the form submission, we got the name, and we have the response here. Here it is. Okay, so now let's automate. Let's go into the next section, which is the action. We already did the trigger, which is going to trigger every time the form is submitted. And now let's do the action. So we're gonna search for OpenAI. We're gonna choose this one here. Let's choose the event. We're gonna generate content. Let's connect. And for this, we're going to add a connection if you haven't done so already. And it's gonna ask us for the API key in OpenAI. So in our section in OpenAI, we're gonna go into personal, view API keys, and we're gonna generate our new secret key. And that's what we're going to add on Pavly Connect. Okay, so I already have added my account, so I'm gonna save. Here we go. And we can select the AI model that we want to use. Now remember we saw the pricing models. This one would be the, the best one, the, the smartest one. This is a recommended one, but if you want to use something that's cheaper, you can use Curie, Babash, or Ada. Um, for something like this, for a sentiment analysis, these are good also, but just do consider that this one would be the best one. It's the smartest one per se, okay? Now, here's the prompt. Remember the prompt that we used on the playground on OpenAI for the sentiment analysis? Okay. We can use this one here. Let's go ahead and copy this. Let's paste it. And for the message, this is where the response is gonna come into hand, which is this one. So this is where we get that submission from JotForm. And each time it's going to be unique. It's a variable. So each time the JotForm is filled out, it's gonna obviously use this and start to trigger to let us know what the sentiment analysis is for this message. Now, there's several settings in this section of Public Connect, like max tokens, select the sampling style, the sampling value. If we leave them by default, it's fine. It, it's, it works fantastic for this, okay? So let's go ahead and save and send a test request. So it's actually going to analyze. It's gonna trigger OpenAI and it's gonna analyze it. So we got this, okay? We got the result because it's a bad one. It's, remember, it's a, it's a, it was a one star. So it's a bad message. It's a bad sentiment. Okay, so now this is working okay. Next, next step we want to do, let's go ahead and close these a bit, is a filter. Why a filter? Because remember we mentioned we want to get a message if it's neutral or bad, okay? 
So in this case, we are going to connect to the section of OpenAI, which is this one. And we're going to choose this, which is the result from OpenAI, the AI system. And if it equals to, I'll say contains, because it might vary a bit. Is it, if it contains bad, then it's true. Let's go ahead and continue. Successful. This will continue. Or we can add another one. Or if, again, OpenAI, the bad contains neutral. Save and continue. It's obviously gonna work if it's bad or neutral. That's why it's going to continue. You can set it up like this, or you can just receive a sentiment analysis for every single submission. But in this case, we wanna only trigger this automation if it's bad or neutral, so we get an email, so we can take action right away. Now, we've added the filter. Now let's add the email. Now, be aware that what we are doing right now is just one of the use cases that you can use for the sentiment analysis. There's several things, infinite possibilities of what you can do with the automation. Maybe you want to post a Facebook post, a Facebook fan page, a Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, or something else on social media, or send it to a CRM, or add a, a special tag to that certain um, contact if the sentiment analysis is bad, etc. There's several things that we can do. In this case, we are gonna trigger a, an, an email. And for this, we're gonna use a Gmail. Let's use Gmail for this. And what we're going to trigger is send an email. Let's go ahead and connect it. Again, I'm already connected. If you are new to this, to Pally Connect, add a new connection and connect to your Google account. It'll just say, allow Google to connect with Pally Connect, okay? So the recipient email address, in this case, it's me. I want to get notified. If you want to notify someone higher up in the, in the company, well, just add their emails right there. For example, if it's gonna be support or tech, or accounting, etc. Just add it there, or CC or BCC. The sender name is just gonna be me. Well, I'll just say, I'll say job form. Job form sentiment, that's gonna be the name for it. The email subject, okay, there's gonna be sentiment analysis. Take care of it promptly, okay? And we're gonna add a little message here like alert so we actually view it in the email so we know it's important okay and we can say for example sentiment is and again we're going to use a variable from open ai and it's going to be the sentiment okay so it's going to say sentiment is bad okay and reply to we'll just reply to our email just for purposes like that and the email content okay this is where we're gonna get, we're gonna write what we want with the, for the email content. For this case, we'll say sentiment analysis from a jot form submission. Let's click enter. Let's say sentiment is. Again, we're gonna grab it from OpenAI and the text is bad. Again, that will be variable. If it's bad or neutral, that's what we're letting go through. And we're gonna say the jot form Submission is, so that's the actual message from job form. Okay, there we go. And we'll add more information to this. Um, we'll say the name of that person. So again, in job form, we've added name, that's the first name, and the other variable is separated for the last name. Their email, again, from the job form response. Here we go. So this is what we're going to receive with the message, okay? There's no file name and there's no attachments. So let's go ahead and save this. We can go ahead and send the test request, but we're not going to do that, okay? So this is going to trigger. It's on and let's go ahead and test it out. So again, let's go into our top from here. Let's go into open a new tab and we can just say what do we want, comments, suggestion, and we're gonna get the feedback. Again, let's grab one of these reviews. Um, let's grab this one with two stars. Okay, let's add it here. The name, we'll keep it simple. And the email. Submit, okay? And this is going to trigger Pavly Connect, okay? So let's go ahead and check this out at Pavly Connect first. So let's go into the history. Okay, here we go, we just received it. Here's the task history, just so you understand how this works. And here it is, the new response that we just created. Here's the message. It's a bad Amex running business like this. And that was, yeah, 
Yep, there we go. That's it. And that's the message for OpenAI. It started to do this magic and it knows it's a bad one. It already, it does automatically. The filter, remember we said the filter was to only let go through the neutrals or bad ones, okay? So in this case, it's a successful. It did went through with the filter and it sent out an email. Let's go check out this email. Okay, you can see here's the email. We just received it, sentiment analysis. Take care of it promptly. The little alert that we added, sentiment is bad. Remember, this one is a variable. Let's go open this up. And here it is, sentiment analysis from a job form submission. Sentiment is bad, okay? Here's the name of the person, here's the email from the person, and here is the form submission. Here's the message that we received from job form submission. So just like that, we're able to get alerts if the sentiment analysis is bad or neutral. Now let's do another test where the sentiment is good and it shouldn't send out the email, okay? So remember, Pavli Connect, here's the history. We're gonna send out a new one. Let's submit it again. Go to our submission. Okay, again, submission. Let's grab a positive one from here. Okay, this is a positive one. Let's grab it. Let's submit that here, the name. We'll keep it the same, it doesn't matter. Submit feedback. Okay, there we go, it's been submitted. Probably Connect should be doing its automation magic right now. There we go. Let's refresh it here. And here it is, okay? Now you can see this one, a four-step workflow, which was the previous one. And this is a three-step workflow. Let's check the task history. So here's the response from job form. AI made its magic. It's a good one, so the sentiment analysis is good. And the filter didn't let it go through. It's an error, condition is false. Why? Because on the filter, we set it to only go through if it's bad or neutral. That way we only receive the email if it's bad, if it's bad, bad or neutral. So that way we can take action right away. If it's good, I mean, we can analyze it with calm, go into job form and check it out there with all the form submissions for the suggestions. But if it's bad, we really want to know and attack really right away how to solve that problem, okay? But that's how we automate it with this system. Remember, we are using job form for the submission. We're using this feedback form. It could be any form that you like and just grab any of the sections here and use it for the sentiment analysis. And for the next one, we're using the playground from OpenAI. So it's super easy to automate. And last, we're using Pavli Connect to trigger the automation. Now, remember I mentioned that we can do a whole lot with this. So it's not just about sending out an email. You can also do like a tag of a contact if you're using a CRM, if you're using an email marketing system where you wanna tag someone, if you wanna tag them, you know what, um, this is a customer that needs extra attention because the sentiment anal analysis was neutral bad or just bad, it depends how you want to use this. And we can do a lot of actions with Pavli Connect all from this form submission of job form. So that's how you can automate. But that is how you can do sentiment analysis using job form, OpenAI, and Pavli Connect. I hope this video helps you out to automate and sky's the limit with the AI implementations that you want to do. Well, we thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell notification so you can get notified when new videos come out. We thank you all for watching and that's a wrap.